All right, welcome to the stream, uh, Spare Change Challenge again today. I just had to restart the stream. Um, was having some technical difficulties, but we're back again. Didn't really miss anything. We're playing No Limit Hold'em today on Ignition Poker. Um, I did three barrel a guy blind versus blind on a really good run out and turns out he turned top pair and just wouldn't give up his top pair no kicker he called a flop with nothing and spiked his top pair there's nothing you can do about that um, he thought about it for a long time before he called um, so I guess it was an okay bluff um, this guy's I saw he probably pretty wide here I limp though 25-25 it's kind of fishy so I'm gonna fold here it was a fish I would shove this this is kind of a fishy limp so I think if we shove here we're just gonna get called by like eights here or something best case scenario um, although I do think this guy's isoing really wide but maybe he's not paying attention to this guy being so tight and limping um, it could just be like one of those old-school guys that just small pairs, I don't know. Could still be a trap. Almost have the right price just to put it in here on a three-way ISO. I think I'm gonna do it with just the 287. Getting a really, really good price with hopefully live cards. Just reload. Pretty sure this is plus EV. Go ahead and plan on rebuying here probably. <clears throat> if lag allows. So it is still laggy today when I click something and just nothing happens for a few seconds sometimes. A little bit frustrating. I've tried, I'm like 90% confident it's not me. That's a good flop. <laughs> Arts, Jack. So, we'll take one of those two scenarios to happen. Wait a minute. Get some protection here, that would be cool if somebody bet. The way maybe sometimes our queen would be live, not likely. Or maybe somebody just does it with like a five high flush draw. <laughs> Okay, well, we're seeing all five cards. A lot of dead money out there. We don't get any of that dead money, though. Oops. Not a very good scenario for us. We were up against the nut flush draw on top there. Oh, well. What are you going to do? So, yeah, we only lost one stack so far. Not a big deal. We're going to keep... Playing. It's obviously the games are pretty fishy right now, so just try and play our game and make something happen here. Where I got an itchy nose. It's not a pick, it's an itch. <clears throat> so got the slight little remnants of like a chest cold lingering. Maybe some of that's allergies. I don't know. It's really annoying. The PLO is going well. I'm, I think I'm at like 260 bucks or something in my WPN account. Which I've obviously rolled for another shot. Maybe we'll do that sometime. I'm kind of just trying to practice and get better at the game. This guy's really passive, so maybe he doesn't lead turn and I can bet a lot. So, I like my check back on a flop on such a dynamic board. And he shows a bluff, which, I mean, he's passive, so... Gotta go with your read, right? Alright, 
We got the ace 10 and the cut off here. Definitely gonna open that. Play some pokers. Go ahead and check back this flop. And we'll bet the jack turn represent. So it is still laggy today when I click something and just nothing happens for a few seconds. Alright, just gonna shut myself up there. Um, that pretty much completes everything. Um, we do have ace high. We're just going to check back. Ouch. What the hell is he calling that for? Okay. Guess we should have shipped, huh? Uh, I'll, it's definitely hard to get back in a no-limit hold of mindset. Although I think playing PLO does improve the decision-making process and hold them. I know this guy's been tight, but I have 10 big blinds, an ace-8 suited in a steel situation. It's a sample size, we could <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess he has more hands in his range than, um, than aces, right? <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. Yep. Is it not gonna let me on the table? That's the worst part of this lag, almost. That, that I miss a hand. Okay, two stacks down, that's okay. We can come back from this. Not a big deal. Seems like I'm zigging when I should be zagging. Vice versa. I shove when a guy has top pair, and I don't shove when the guy has bottom pair. <laughs> I shove both, I guess I break even on the play. Unfortunately, I pushed out. I guess, I guess maybe I should be shoving that 100% and no limit hold him since there's only two cards in a guy's hand, right? But, Pielo, that's a really terrible board, so I wimped out. Trying to think like I had showdown value with Ace 10, right? <laughs> Not. This does not look like the greatest game here. This guy is really wide. I don't know how wide he is from under the gun. This would be flat. Check that here. River the nuts. It's always nice. Um, how strong do you think he is here? That's pretty weak. I'm not going to go for the gusto. I'm going to go for a small raise here. He was just stabbing. I guess we just have to give up on that one. If we ever get to see another card, okay, there we go. Wow. Led into a top two. ever leading straight. This isn't PLO, right? I have top two. I'm just gonna put it in here. Alright, we have him crushed. Wow. Can't win. We can only chop. That's frustrating. Can't fold there. What was he doing? Why did he put it in with that hand? Because he knew it was going to run out of straight, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. What do we have, like 90% equity there? He could have gotten Deuce Deuce or Diamond Diamond, I guess. But yeah, something like 90% equity, and we chopped. That sucks. P 
keep plugging away. Kind of tough to be a rig on this site now, isn't it, with all the lag? Like this table's breaking. Oh, I was trying to sit out. I guess my click didn't go through. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter, we got a free ride anyway. We're not going to play heads up versus the sky. Go ahead and open like we're in the cutoff here. I guess we'll play a small blind just in case we pick up a monster when he leaves. So, goodbye, cruel table. <laughs> Alright, let's see betting this dry board. And called by the station guy. <laughs> All right. Trying to get another table up, but it's frozen. Stab at this one with a gut shot. There we go. If it's just cash game, should we try like a sit and go or two just to see if it's any better than this? Maybe we should do that because this is this is pretty close to unplayable. Play this revolution out maybe. Get off this table. Yeah, this is pretty ridiculous, so. Hate to say it, guys. We might just be done with ignition. We'll just be done. Until this is fixed, if that ever happens. This is just so minus EV to play in this environment, right? Did you just hit a three? We win one, lose the other dominating one. I don't even know if it's worth trying to rebuy here. This is the guy that chopped with us earlier too. Already rebought. Oh. <laughs> you, this can't be fun for you guys to watch either, so. I mean, look at this, I can't even rebuy. Okay, there we go. Maybe I'll get one more hand on this table. Um, so we flop this flop. Games look pretty good though, actually. I mean, all things considered. Games look pretty good. Pretty good card in the barrel, I think. I'll play pretty honest on this turn. Um, with the fish in the blinds, we'll go ahead and open the ace six suited here. And got showdown value here. And once again, he, I guess he was open ended, so makes it okay, but. We'll end the pain on this table. We have a gut shot here, but we still have showdown value. Nobody's folding anything here. <laughs> and our favorite guy hits a hits another hand. 
All right, so maybe that was it, right? Yeah, we're going to get off of here. I mean, is it worth trying a sit and go? And we're done like um, 70, 80 bucks. That's not good. Um, Why not? Let's see if these are the same way. Um, Hyper turbos. I mean, we could always play these, right? Here is my tournament indicator. There we go. Oh, there's an update. So we'll do that. We're going to check the lag here and decide whether to register more. We can certainly do four of these. I didn't want to fold that. Darn it. Um, I don't see the same lag. I don't think. It's hard to say so far. Everything seems fine. Just cash games, maybe? Yeah, everything seems smooth. Just cash games. Weird. So it's not weird. <laughs> it's it's just an ongoing thing. Go ahead and register four of these. Trying, trying to get there. Let's see, I don't see a fourth one popped up yet, I guess. All right, we'll wait for that to happen, but we've got three registered now. Second one should be starting any time now. There's five registered. I don't think my tournament indicator is working, so let's do this. Pull up a lobby for this. Close this. Open up tournament indicator. Take my seat. Maybe that'll fix the problem. This has happened in the past, and I think this is the fix for it. If I'm not mistaken. Oops, I might have registered the wrong thing here. Oh, I 
I registered a turbo eleven dollar. Well, that's okay. I wanted to play hyper turbos, but it's okay. I registered the wrong thing, but we'll uh, we'll just play it. It's fine. Whoops. <laughs> Not a big deal. Okay, my hood is working now. Oops, I gotta get all my hoods in the right spot here. Put those here, here. Get them all squared away real quick. Okay. We could go back to playing heads up on here, the heads up tournaments. That could be fun. filling as fast as I had hoped. Okay, now there's people registering, finally. Didn't take too much longer. played a standard sit and go in a long time. A long time. Assuming the strategy hasn't really adapted or changed that much. It's supposedly solved, but I guess people still play bad in them, so it makes them okay to play. spoke too soon. Great, just the river I wanted. I'm trying to get the show down here. And he hits his heart, probably. <laughs> the five of hearts. <laughs> Good stuff. That's all right, we're just interested in keeping a shoving stack intact. Now we're registered on fourth. Maybe it's just the number of tables lags. I don't know. 
Maybe we need. Maybe we could just play heads up. Turn turn this into a heads up challenge or something. Heads up turbo. I don't know. Let's see if those are running heads up. Ones. There's one guy sitting already. Starting chips 1500. That's right. Okay, yeah. I don't know. We'll think about that. Swapping the two pair. Checking this. Not because we're slow playing, but just because we want more money in the pot. We want this guy to stab and then get it in on clean turns. Um, we don't want to get cooler. Like if we had bet this flop and somebody called and then that turn came, um, we would have wasted more money than we needed to. Assuming we're somebody's gonna have a jack here most of the time. Yeah, that's pretty strange. Actually won that. I mean I guess this isn't PLO. <laughs> checked here a long time ago. What's going on? We are lagged! Ten big blinds, so we gotta get busy here. Can't whittle down. Take a few semi-marginal spots here or there every once in a while. That's that's one of the better hands to try and do it with, because you generally have like 30 to 33 percent equity against all the strong hands that would call you. I mean, even some of their hands will be ahead of like King Queener. Something like that. just joining us they were playing we tried playing some cash for a while and it was just so laggy it was really frustrating so I was testing out sit and goes to see if they're just as laggy and it looks like they are but I don't think lag affects you or hurts you as quite as much in a sit and go the less complicated stuff to really get in the way of I was just thinking about playing heads up sit and goes again. Seems, seems like they were pretty popular. Um, so maybe we'll just start at like, I don't know, whatever 50 buy ins is for whatever we have and just try to grow bankroll that way. And what do people think about that? And then, of course, I could play PLO on WPN at the same time. <laughs> maybe one day play the No Limit Cash games again, but. I don't know, until this lag issue is fixed, I just don't see the point. At least it's not disconnecting right now. I think it only does that really at night. We'll go for the stack building dead money spot here. Okay, so we ended up against tens here. So far so good. We do hold. So we're in good shape in this one. I always hate to have cornered animals behind me when I... He's going to feel cooler. He'll be more likely to play this hand. Of course he doesn't, so that works out for us. Anytime you get to steal through in these, is good. Now we put a little bit of pressure on this guy. Pair. Build an image. 
never calling there. Be happy to maintain our 11, 1200 stack here. Okay, so let's look at the lobby here. Let's see how the heads up runs right now. So we see. Just saw a heads a guy sitting here. So the ten dollars run. I know probably the five dollars run. So maybe we'll just play a sample. Like I don't know. Um, where are they? Turbos, there we go. Oh, that's not it. There we go. Yeah, we'll play. Maybe we'll play like I don't know. Start with like 25 of those. Oh, we're heads up now. That's cool. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> so we should be playing our hands, right? Um, so 10 big blinds. This guy seems like he wants to be a shover, so go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, we lose with kings, but fortunately, we um, lost like the middle in there. This guy was really short. Still would prefer to have those 260 odd chips, but it's okay. Swap a pair, top pair open under. That. Probably have to get it in versus this guy. <coughs> I think he'll just have a naked flush draw a lot here. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Can't fold now. He has kings and we get there. So, back, back at you, buddy. Kings are no good on this table. Try a raise here. See how this guy reacts. So he's flatting a lot, three betting a lot, folding a lot. I mean, kind of have enough of a stack here to kind of just test the waters a little bit. We definitely want to keep pressure on him and not let him just nut camp. We don't want this to end in a nut over nut. We want it to end in us cruising to victory with him just folding too much. Shoving pretty wide. I don't think we're short enough or big enough to call here. I think he's still got a reasonable range there. I don't think we just need to gamble versus this guy. I think probably could just use like an edge here. I'm gonna keep opening. Boy tells me otherwise. So it seems like our min opens are working so far. Probably calling with the same range, he would just be shoving. <laughs> so, um, if he shoves this way, we will call it off because I think we just have too big of an edge here. Good luck to us. He does just have a computer hand. He hits. We don't. So, that one's over. We get a second place to start. That's okay. Like I said, I just I hate spots where luck just plays such a factor. And that's just, unfortunately, in a hyper turbo, that's just what you got to deal with. Um, and yeah, we won't. Not for now. Probably just gonna play these four. We're already 35 minutes in here. Move this up here. So, I think if we're gonna play this site, probably one tabling with the lag is probably gonna have to be. And I think the best way to do that is play those heads ups like we were talking about. Try to move up through the ranks there. Have some fun in the process. Work on our heads up game. We shall.
shall see. But I'm interested to hear some feedback. What do you guys think? You let me know what you want me to do, and I'll pretty much do it. Got shoves again, but we only have ace eight. We're just gonna fold. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to shove this. We're down to five big blinds. We can't let the blinds go through us here. Same, same thing up here. Just gotta put it in. Oops, this is not good for us unless we can spike a knight or a queen. And we don't, so we're out of this one, unfortunately. But we had life cards, so not the end of the world. Oh, we just got just too short there. And, but we did win this one up here, so we're still in the game. Tempted to shove this as well. I think I have to. Um, we just have to. We have to go after this 150 and build our stack up any way that we can. We prefer just to win the blinds. Okay, so hopefully we get a chop out of this. Looks like it might chop. Okay. This guy's this is a really terrible call up here, but um, whatever. At least we got a chop out of it. I think we're down to four-handed on the top left. Don't really want the blinds to go through me again, but I just nothing I can do with the eight deuce. This guy was supposed to have folded the wing five suited up here. So he kind of screwed us out of this revolution, but whatever, we're still in it. This guy's stealing pretty wide. I'm gonna defend one time. Get an SPR of like three here. We just have to go after this. is kind of a weak looking bet. We're just going to go after it. We have an open ender. Got to gamble at some point. Let's just do it here. Does this guy really spike a five? Wow. It's been one of those sessions, guys. All right. <laughs> okay, well. We've lost two of those hands. It's, it's hard to lose those. <laughs> We're gonna have to just gamble here with the 9 6. <laughs> oh, we hit a 6. Deuce. Alright, we're still in it. Get us back to three big blinds. Hold in here. We would be calling pretty wide here again against this guy's ISO, but we're gonna wait one or two hands here, see if we can pick up something. King high, ace high suited something. Looks like there might be some blood on this hand. Ouch. Ace deuce wins it. This guy was supposed to have been out. All right, we're down to 15 big lines. We're gonna go ahead and still open. Okay, we get it in with kings here. Obviously a good spot normally. Against the ace king. Uh, well, this guy just can't miss. Okay, so we're out of this one. Uh, that's the nature of these guys, they're just high variance. We lose three 70 30s in this session, and that just hurts. We did get a second already, though, so we're not quite free rolling the session. We're still down 20 for our buy ins, but we still are alive. I gotta do is spike this one. Guess we'll pull up the lobby here. Whoops, wrong one. You can see we got a 39 first, 21 second. ICM, I think we're not quiet to a shove with a 6-9 here, with our position. 
think if we were this guy, we probably would shove that. I think that 225 is starting to make a difference. I don't know. I don't know if the spline level is high enough yet. It might actually just be a razor of fold. Kind of rusty on my ICM, I think. <clears throat> it is not the bubble yet, so that does make a difference. It makes it probably... I don't know. Does that make it more of a shove or less than a shove? I guess his chips are worth less on the without it being the bubbles, so probably might make it more of a shove. Is that theoretically sound? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Pick up the uh, uh, monster hand here. We're going to double down. Hopefully this knit just keeps folding to us. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's always a bonus to keep this guy on our right. Let him whittle himself down. We could still look for some decent resteal spots. We're not really on the bubble here um, with the correct hands, but we'll wait for that. Okay. Whoops. So I just got a comment that the music's too loud, so I'll just leave it off. Um, I got the volume on the music all the way down to like nothing, so... Yeah, I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> uh, we just can't call here with the fours. He's got the stack size. He pretty much just owns us right now. I'm going to re-steal the ace eight, though, if he min-raises here. Or shove. Heads up. Seems like the lag is slightly less with one table, which I was, which makes sense, right? It's like the second hand we've raised, so this guy would probably think he needs a pretty good range here to call. <laughs> I'll take the dead money. With this guy still in the game, we're just going to have to play a little bit more tight than we would like. <clears throat> of course, I'll I'll resize my um, screen here if we decide to just play nothing but um, heads up. And in fact, I can go ahead and do that now, make it a little bit easier to watch. Like, I don't know, how's that look? fill up the screen I guess whoops didn't want to go that far so I'll play this hand like there we go that's better certainly fine getting a flip right now. Um, it's not the bubble yet. Um, being able to build a $3,500, $3,600 stack right now would be pretty good. Uh, so we're really willing to flip for that. Uh, but hopefully we would get called by like pocket something lower than a jacks. <laughs> um, if we're going to get called by a pair there. A pair there. Alright, did we just call? Nah. We're not going to just call. No king or jack. Number three way. Okay. 
with a short stack three way, so we have to be a little bit aggressive. But that's okay, we can do that. Not the 7 4. See, we are three minutes till the next blind levels. That's when Annie's kick in. I actually like to be at Annie's before we get three handed, but whatever. I'll have to just go with it. Yeah, this guy can pretty much shove almost any two here, I think. Just got to pick and choose. Something quite a bit ahead of his range. All right, we'll be shoving the 5-7 suited. This guy going to tank every time we shove? Or has he just got an almost hand every time we shove? It's only the second time, so we don't mind getting called. We don't have much equity in this. We'd certainly prefer a fold, but we'll take a flip or whatever. Hopefully we have live cards if we're called. But he folds, that's always good when you have seven high. Certainly shoving the queen eight suited. I think it's just good enough. Now we're back to basically tied with second, which is good. Gonna grind our way through this. Shove, okay. What's he flatting here? It's gotta be like a monster, right? So here we go, trip deuces or eights or eight deuce, please. That's just a trap spot for us because he's gonna be really strong when he limps here, I think. <laughs> Cause shouldn't he be shoving like all his middle and weak hands? Um, so I'm really wary of his range right now. Um, yeah, it's a good card. Should be polarized when he bets now. Wow. <laughs> we still have 1660. Not a big deal, but that's that sucks. Um, but we're going to try and get it back right now. Oh, wow. What took him so long? Six or an ace, please. All right, so we bubble this one. That blows. Um, so we lose 20. This sit-and-go session, not a big deal. Um, so let's take inventory of where we're at here. Um, we're obviously down today, but that's okay. So we're at 197. So that gives us $197. We could be pretty aggressive with our bankroll management because we have um, quite a bit of money behind. So if we just play, I guess 20 buy-ins is good enough. Yeah, we have 20 buy-ins for the $10 level, so we'll stay at the 10. We'll stay at the $10 level. Play some of these heads up, sit and goes. Let's see what we have here. Do we have a guy seated already? If we do, we might we might go ahead and, and play one of these. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and sit. We're going to give it a couple minutes, give somebody a chance to sit with us. And if they don't, we'll call it a day. Oh, we already got somebody. There we go. <laughs> Add that to my start menu, and we don't have to keep hunting for it. There we go. Tournament indicator. All right, let's play some heads up. All right, HUD's not working. I know how to fix it, but it's annoying. Get this one off of here.
Whoops. It already set me out. <laughs> Is it going to do it again? <sighs> Alright, let's play this hand. Nothing better than buggy software. <laughs> All right. Let's see about this monotone board. Let's see if we can get this fixed. Pull up our permit indicator. Now take the seat. Hopefully it's not sitting me out again. Okay, good deal. Hopefully this worked. There we go. We are with HUD. Flopping top pair. Not looking to stack really. Um, we're going to try and get some value. This is an easy but raise fold here on the turn. And he does just fold. We can get value from worse, heart draws, etc. It'll be hard for him to shove a hand like that. So hopefully he has kings right now, race king. We're obviously going to three bet. Check and hope that he hits something here. Go for some value now. Yeah, I think the check raise is good. Uh, people have a lot of jack X in their range. We're just going to go for our usual wide opening ranges here. Got to dominate the small pots. I'm going to check back. Um, Bedar got shot in two overs. Hey, Max Stacks, good to see you. Yeah, it's good to play here. It's just um, beyond one tabling, it's really laggy. So that's why I'm doing the, the heads up right now. I understand. I understand completely. Um, yeah, we'll stick to wow, Tricky Dicky here. Hits his fresh and gets no value. Gonna defend the queen ten. Can have the best hand here for sure. We can pick up equity on the turn. He can check back turns and we fire rivers. Um, okay. He bets the turn pretty confidently. We just fold. We keep raising close to 100% on the button. Be a good board to see that. Maybe a little bit too big on the sizing. I don't know. I'm getting lazy. Maybe 77 would be better. Should have the same success frequently frequency. Just gonna flat the ace eight. Play a pot.
There's some draws in his range here. Um, also just take it down here on the turn. He could be slow playing. We'll find out pretty quickly if he is. We were going to probably check raise that flop. Let's play pretty straightforward against him. Um, as far as just reading what he's doing, <laughs> if that makes any sense. We'll get out of line, but hopefully in a way that he doesn't pick up on. Not as likely to see C bet success on this board, but we still got a fire with the queen high. Trying to lay on the aggression to build an image here. Um, maybe get a little more reasonable in mid-levels. <laughs> reasonable in his eyes. And that's when the SPRs will be lower. That's where we can snack off with a tighter range when he thinks we're playing a wider range. And profit. This guy seems pretty passive and fishy so far. Which is good. We're just going to flat with threes. Um, board's pretty good for any kind of button opening range. He's been pretty wide, however. I don't think we're even going to bother floating on this one. I think there's better spots. If we were going to be aggressive on this, we'd probably lead. It's good to have some under pairs in your donk betting range. I think. Because you can just take it down, maybe get them off something like second pair, third pair that's beating you. Um, get 3-bet here. It's the first time he's 3-bet, and we have a really good hand to call with. We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm assuming aces would be in his 3-bet range. Ace-king, ace-queen. Um, it's a really weird check on this board, unless he has something like kings. I'm obviously not going to try and get him off kings. We're hoping he has like king-queen, queen-jack, something like that, and we're going to try to get a showdown with him. Um... Probably can't call a river bet here. He's probably just got kings or queens. He's trying to get thin value when he bets this. Yeah, I'm not going to call. Um, I think he might even try to check down king high, so. Yeah, I mean, I could make an argument for a call, but I don't know. He's been kind of passive so far. We're going to defend the 6-9. Shouldn't have a whole bunch of aces in his range when he's opening 80% so far. Um, so we're, that's definitely a good turn to stab at. And hitting the straight is good. The max stack says he was doing the short stack strategy live for about 10 sessions and was working good. And went back to full stacking because he thinks there's more value at one, two. I could certainly understand that. There's nothing wrong with also just starting with a short stack and just continuing on indefinitely at the table. But I understand that completely. Being deep against the fish is a good thing sometimes. Is opening really wide. I guess we need to. We could three bet lighter. That's one adjustment. Just call lighter too. <clears throat> we'll get to see what he had here, I think, right? He had um, ace four, he had bottom pair. So blinds are up, I think, right? Just went up. So, but he still has 20 something big blinds. Keep opening fairly wide here. 
Although this is the point where he'll start playing back a lot more probably, because there's more money involved. Um, we're not going to defend the 9-5. I'm assuming for now, I just have to assume that he's 3-betting mostly for value. We're looking to get to that magical 2k range where, um, where we can um, start. We can, we can gamble one time to get it in because if we lose we still have 1k chips. We're almost there. I think at that stage it's good to play pretty hyper aggro. Pre flop. Not being afraid to get it in light. Um, I like checking back here. It's a dry board, he'll play back a lot. Pick up some equity or something would be good. Um, I think we'll bet fold this turn. Alright, I think we just hit our number. Um, yeah, he doesn't know this, but we will be tr okay getting it in fairly light now. Um, to go for the gusto. I'll wait for a slightly better hand than that. I mean, certainly just whittling him down is also a good strategy. But he's going to be less apt to let us whittle him down. Um, as he gets short, he should be anyway. We just have, we are we're gonna check back our showdown value. Um, just gonna give up here. If it was Ace Ace Deuce Eight, I'd probably call or raise that turn. Cause it just looks like I might have an ace because I checked back. But I think there's just too much going on for him. He could definitely have lots of gut shots. Under pairs, you know, I don't really want to just barrel off when he could have me drawing almost dead. Not going to call with a king six. Didn't want to whittle myself down here, but we'll take it. <laughs> I was going to shove that. Free steal because he's opening 70%. See a trend developing here. Um, okay. I mean, he just owns that board. I mean, he would assume that I would be shoving anything. Um, we'll definitely get it in here if you three bets again. Not the best board. See that? Play pretty straightforward here, I think is best. We're going to call with a deuce five. Flopping a gut shot on a monotone. Should be C betting this fairly wide. Um, Usually when he checks back, it's a give up or a flush. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Probably bets all his queens and all his diamonds, so. Comes a three bet, right? Nope. I have backdoor diamonds. I don't see backdoor diamonds though. It's one of those spots where he's not folding anything for one more bet. Not folding flushes, not folding aces, not folding two pairs. Um, so we're just giving him this one. And he does have a flush that he's slow playing to the river. So I like my give up there. Lines go up. Wow. I guess he's suddenly in shoving mode. I wouldn't think he'd be super light there. And we're not going to gamble. If we had 2,000 chips, maybe we would have gambled there. That's okay. This might be the... This is a lot of the... This is the point where a lot of players do open up quite a bit. 
I'll just be wary of that. <laughs> Basically, break even now. I actually prefer to be up in chips at this point. Of course, who doesn't? But we can't. Sometimes we can't get what we want. Certainly better than being down. <clears throat> We're going to leave with our open ender. Um, do we just barrel off here? I'll leave myself enough chips to play with in case he calls here. But I think he's going to fold all his tens, nines. He might call with a queen. That would be about it. Um, that should work fairly often there. And he could just have diamonds or same thing I have basically, right? Um, do we just shove when he has 10 big blinds? I guess so. Even though there's no antis. <sighs> Lord. Okay. Well, we got a flip. We got diamonds too. Hmm. Okay. We still have 700 chips. Um, we could have won it right there. We had a 50% chance and we had the complete edge because we were up, so... Can't argue with that. Can't argue at all. We had so many outs too. Queen, Jack, Diamond. <clears throat> if we weren't going to flop a Queen or a Jack, that was a pretty good flop for us. This is good. He seems to be going in nut camp mode rather than just balls to the wall, so we can be a little bit tight here. Shove time. When he pauses this long, he's probably shoving. Or thinking about a limp with aces, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he can keep this pot. Spot a trap from a mile away. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe he's weaker than we think. Did we stab? Eh, probably not gonna work. It's mostly checking back with showdown values, so yeah, I wouldn't anticipate just that to work. It could have, I mean, he only had bottom pair, so I don't mind the bet. It's better than just giving up with 10 high, I guess. He's free rolling us. Now it's a chop. Um, not quiet. It might. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like having high card. At least a high card. Just in case you run into a hand like tens again. You got at least three outs. Like this is a good hand to shove, I think. Wow, this guy is just crazy. Can we hold? Yep, we hold. <laughs> So we win the hard way there. This guy on tilt now. He's going to tilt shove. I just wish I had a little bit better. King Jack, I think I snap it here. I think this is a tilt shove. I certainly could be ahead with Queen Jack, but we just have to give him that one. Um, ten big blinds, we can shove the King five. He's called every single one of our shoves so far, I think. But that's only two or three. Two. Two. <laughs> Maybe he's just got hands. Maybe this isn't tilt. I mean, he could have been out a long time ago, so he should feel fortunate that he's still in this. I mean, I guess I could just be min raising here. Maybe shoving isn't necessary, but 10 big blinds seems like it's a mistake to shove fold, to race fold. I don't know. Okay, he shoved two straight. Let's go for three. I don't know what his limping range is, but I'm shoving over it with king queen. Foldy moldy. That sucks too, because the blinds just went up. I would have liked to have taken that one. Okay. No! <laughs> Don't fold to my ace queen. Son of a gun. All right. If you're going to fold to me, I'll fold to you. Is 
the monster 9-5 here. Now he shoves. The last two I could have called. I can't fold too many more times. What happened to my webcam? Why am I blurry? Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what was going on there. All right, Mr. King 3. Do me right. He wants to call this. Okay. We're ahead. We're still ahead. We're still ahead. Give us the chip lead. Pass us the cheese. We're calling this when he shoves. Yeah, we're ahead of his range. Wow, he has a king. Queen or deuce, please? Queen, deuce? No? Okay. Back to even again. Wow, that's, that's kind of sick that he had a hand that strong. I expect him to be weaker. All right, here we go. He's got diamonds. I mean, he's got spades. No! All right, we got it in really good most of the time there. Couldn't win the ones that counted. So, whatever. We'll lose that one. But we played okay. We, should, we had a couple chances to win. Luck was on his side today. So, not much we can do. But yeah, we'll just keep playing those. Um, there wasn't any lag, did you, did you notice that? So, um, we'll try and avoid multi-tabling on ignition. Maybe we'll just play heads up, sit and goes for the stream for a while. And uh, try and grow the bankroll that way. And do it for fun. I'll play PLO on the side. Yeah. Let's just do that for a while. Um, maybe the cash games will eventually get less laggy. So, okay. Appreciate everybody watching today. We will see you next time. Everybody enjoy their holiday weekend, I guess. Is it a holiday weekend? When is the 4th? The Tuesday? I guess technically it's a holiday weekend. I do know that people will be setting fireworks off in our neighborhood, probably starting tonight. I usually wait till like bedtime to do it, so we'll have to endure that for the next few days. But yeah, thanks again. Take care, everybody.